Hi, and welcome to Fun Friday. Today, our book is entitled Book Fair Day. Book Fair Day was tomorrow, and everyone in Mrs. Shepard's class was anxious to buy a new book or two at the book fair, especially Dewey Booker. Dewey loved books more than he loved bubblegum, baseball cards, and bike riding. In fact, when Dewey's nose wasn't stuck in a book, he was dreaming and scheming about adding new books to his collection. Biographies, fables, mysteries, oh my. Fantasies, comics, histories, all mine. Dewey rose before the sun on book fair day. He needed to leave his house extra early since he had to walk all the way to school. There wouldn't be enough room on the bus. As Mrs. Shepard greeted her students. Good morning. She collected all of their money envelopes and put them on her desk for safekeeping until the book fair. Dewey didn't have an envelope. He had saved every single penny he had earned in a special book bank. During morning circle time, Mrs. Shepard explained, our class will be visiting the book fair in the library during the last half hour of the day. But to start our day, we're going to go read to our kindergarten book buddies. Hooray! We have the best book buddies. I've got a great story to read to my buddy this week. Oh! What's wrong, Dewey? asked Mrs. Shepard. I thought you liked book buddy time. Oh, I do, said Dewey, getting down on his knees. But please, 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 can't we go to the book fair earlier in the day? If we go last, there won't be any books left. Please? Sorry, Dewey, but someone has to go last. This year, it's our turn. I'm sure there'll be plenty of good books for everyone. Down in the kindergarten room, Dewey couldn't keep his mind on the book he was reading to his buddy. After losing his place for the fifth time, he asked, what time is your class going to the book fair? His buddy answered, I can't tell time, but teachers said we're going right after book buddy time. Dewey's eyes grew big, really? When it was time for Mrs. Shepard's class to go back to their classroom and for the kindergartners to visit the book fair, Dewey got in line. It just wasn't exactly the right time. But just as he entered the library and reached toward the new dinosaur detectives collection, he heard <clears throat> <clears throat> behind him. Lose your way, Dewey, asked Mrs. Shepard. Kind of, said Dewey. I thought maybe there'd be a book of maps here to help me find my way back. I'll show you the way, said Mrs. Shepard. Now, you, how'd you know I was there? Asked Dewey as he headed out the door. I have my sources, says Mrs. Shepard. Dewey looked back at the dinosaur detective's collection and whispered, I hope you won't be extinct by the time I come back. During recess, Dewey couldn't keep his mind on the ball. After getting bonked on the head for the 10th time, he asked his friends, is that the library window? Think so, sure, yep, they said. I think a ball might have gone in there, said Dewey, help me up. Dewey's friends boosted him high enough so that he could peek in. And there on a book fair shelf was the new Amazing Explorers Atlas. <gasps> But just as Dewey reached for it, he heard ahem, <clears throat> beside him. Lost again, Dewey? asked Mrs. Shepard. Guess so, said Dewey, but maybe that atlas would help. I think maybe I could help, said Mrs. Shepard. Just follow me. How'd you know I was here? asked Dewey as he wiggled back out of the window. I have my way, said Mrs. Shepard, wiggling herself out. Dewey took one last glance at the amazing explorer's atlas and whispered, I hope you won't be lost by the time I come back. After lunch, Mrs. Shepard's class noticed that the door to the hamster cage was open and the cage was empty. 
Yikes, where'd Bucky go? Maybe he went looking for something to eat. Hurry, everyone, find Bucky. All of Mrs. Shepherd's students skittered and scattered to find their furry friend. Dewey crawled down the hall looking for tiny paw prints. As Dewey passed the 15th door in the hallway, he realized where he was. Dewey crawled into the library and there, right before his nose, was the Private Eye series. But just as Dewey reached for the books, he heard <coughs> above him. Did you think Bucky was hiding in a book, Dewey? asked Mrs. Shepherd. No, answered Dewey, but maybe if I knew how to spy, I could find him faster. Not necessary, said Mrs. Shepherd. We already did. How'd you know I was here, asked Dewey. I have my secrets, said Mrs. Shepherd. As they left, Dewey gave one last longing look at the Private Eye series and whispered, I hope you'll still be around to investigate by the time I come back. Finally, Mrs. Shepherd announced, Class, it's time to visit the book fair. Yippee, let's go. Can't wait to see what they have this year. I hope there'll be a few books left, groaned Dewey. Mrs. Shepherd passed the students' money back to them and told them to line up. Everyone elbowed and jostled to try to get next to Dewey. At the book fair, before Dewey could even open a single book, his classmates begged and pestered him. Dewey, what do you think of these new fantasies? Dewey, have you read this book? Should I get it? Dewey, can you help me find a book I'd like? Dewey, what do you recommend for me? Dewey, what do you think of this author? Dewey, 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 Dewey. By the time Dewey had helped his 12th classmate, Mrs. Shepherd announced, okay, everyone, time to head back to our classroom and get ready to go home. Dewey was dumbstruck. Oh no, but but I haven't, there, there's no books left, he cried as he looked at the bare book displays. Just then he heard, <coughs> from underneath the table. Mr. Opus, the librarian, peeked his head out and asked, looking for these, Dewey? How did you know, exclaimed Dewey when he saw the box filled with the dinosaur detective collection, the amazing explorer's atlas and the private eye series. Let's just say we can read you like a book, said Mrs. Shepherd with a super sight smile. Dewey had just enough money to buy all the books he wanted. At the end of the day, Mrs. Shepherd hustled and bustled her students onto the bus. Bye, see you tomorrow. Don't stay up too late reading your new books. Dewey reminded Mrs. Shepherd that he would be walking home today instead of taking the bus. She helped him load his book buggy and waved goodbye. Dewey hurried and scurried all the way home. He couldn't wait to get lost in all of his new books. I hope you enjoyed the story today. And remember, when you support the Children's Hope Foundation, you make it possible for children in our community to receive the specialized medical care that they so desperately need. I hope you'll share this with your friends and family and join us next week for another Fun Friday.